Meet Berserk, Ukraine's robotic drone killer. Just when you think Ukraine's defense tech can't get any wilder, along comes Berserk, a rolling battery-powered middle finger aimed squarely at Russian drones. If you're picturing the love child of a Mars rover and a Wi-Fi jammer, you're in the right zip code. This isn't slightly more than a new gadget, it's a mission statement. In the age of cheap death from above, Ukraine's best answer is an angry little robot that jams everything in sight. Hey friends, Wes here, veteran, recovering journalist, and Russian speaker because mudro izuchat protivnika. And I feel like my heart is about to explode because I've just had a couple of these five-hour energy drinks, so bear with me. Let's take a closer look at how the Covertus AD Berserk was built, what makes it tech, and why Russian drone pilots might want to find a new line of work. From exhibit hall curiosity to frontline workhorse, the story of the Covertus reads like a modern Ukrainian legend. Equal parts Silicon Valley, equal parts frontline foxhole, back in 2014, before drones started rewriting the rules of war, Covertus founder Andrei Znachchenko was strolling through a tech show in China and spotted an anti-drone gun. By 2017, Znachchenko's garage project had turned into a real company with an even more real mission protect Ukrainian soldiers from the buzzing menace overhead. Covertus started small, just a handful of engineers and tinkerers churning out Star Wars gear for a country that had suddenly found itself on the front lines of drone warfare. Wait, Star Wars? Any excuse to pull out the Luke Skywalker lightsaber? Today, the company employs over 100 staffers, ships thousands of anti-drone devices a month, and has NATO codification and Ukrainian Ministry of Defense contracts to prove it's not just vaporware. So let's talk about the Berserk Unleashed. What is it? Well, the Berserk is Covertus' new heavy hitter. This is a remote-controlled ground-based robot built to crawl and jam everything in its path. It's designed to roll into the ugliest parts of the battlefield, flip on its electronic foghorn, and blind any Russian drone operator within 20 kilometers. But this isn't just a brute force jammer. Berserk software is tailored to disrupt all frequency bands typically used by Russian FPV kamikazes, multi-rotor bombers, and the fixed-wing pests that have made life hell for Ukrainian infantry. It's got autonomy for up to 12 hours, meaning it can loiter in no man's land all day long, and a control link that stretches to 20 kilometers if operators want to stay well out of harm's way. Built for the dirty work, Berserk is a workhorse built for some of the dirtiest jobs in the war. When it comes to evacuating the wounded from the so-called zero line, Berserk is proving to be a huge asset. Medics heading into the most dangerous corners of the battlefield now have an electronic bodyguard in tow. By jamming the signals drones use to home in on heat signatures or radio traffic, Berserk helps keep the skies just quiet enough for casualties to get out alive. Because only the Russians would target medics. What a bunch of assholes. In a war where artillery shells and FPV drones seem to hunt in packs, this little robot can mean the difference between making it home and vanishing into the chaos. Also, demining is a thankless task at the best of times, and doing it while Russia's FPVs are circling overhead makes it borderline suicidal. Berserk steps in as a mobile shield, jamming enemy drones and blocking out the operators trying to pick off demining teams from miles away. With this protection, engineers have a fighting chance to clear mines and IEDs without turning every movement into a potential YouTube highlight for Russian telegram channels. On the offensive, Berserk stays right with Ukraine's assault groups as they push forward. Every advance risks discovery by a swarm of cheap Russian drones. But with Berserk rolling alongside the infantry, those eyes in the sky are left blinking and confused. Surprise becomes possible again, not because of some fancy new tactic or infantry battle drill, but because a jamming robot is short-circuiting the drone feeds that might otherwise broadcast every movement to Russian artillery. Now, we should mention that Berserk has no effect against fiber-optic drones for obvious reasons. The signal is continuous along the glass wire, but for those Russian FPVs that still rely on wireless, Berserk 
is a changer of the game, so to speak. Logistics is the beating heart of any army, and Russian drones know it. Fuel convoys, ammo trucks, and supply columns have all become prime targets for spotter drones, relaying coordinates back to Russian guns. Here again, Berserk's role is clear. Keep the lifeline open by denying Russian operators the real-time video they rely on. Berserk helps ensure that Ukraine's war machine stays fueled, armed, and in the fight. Berserk is already being snapped up in bulk, with Kvirtis confirming that dozens of orders are in progress and more in the pipeline. The demand is simple. Field units have tested it, and it works. It's not just another jammer. The tech behind Berserk is revolutionary. What makes Berserk a leap forward is the layered approach to jamming and control. The system is built on a rugged all-terrain platform with a massive battery bank, but the secret sauce is in the electronics. Berserk doesn't mess around with half measures. Unlike single frequency jammers that are easily outfoxed, this robot is a true multi-spectrum disruptor. It sweeps and blocks across all frequencies commonly used by drones for command, video feeds, and navigation making it just as effective against off-the-shelf quadcopters as it is against more advanced Russian military UAVs. The result is a drone pilot's nightmare and a welcome reprieve for Ukrainian troops who have spent too many nights dodging cheap aerial threats. Just as importantly, Berserk is built to keep its human operators safe. The system is fully remote controlled, letting Ukrainian soldiers run it from a secure distance rather than risking their necks on the front line. Convergence has even begun field trials with a fiber optic tether, allowing Berserk to shrug off even the nastiest Russian electronic warfare attacks. If you're facing an enemy obsessed with signal jamming and hacking, a hardwired connection is a major tactical advantage. But what really sets the Berserk apart in the fast-moving world of Battlefield Tech is its relentless pace of upgrades. Convergence treats firmware updates the way most people treat clean laundry, non-negotiable and regularly scheduled. This isn't a set-it-and-forget-it system. Instead, each month brings new tweaks and capabilities, all informed by direct feedback from Ukrainian troops who actually use the gear. That kind of responsiveness is worth its weight in gold. A few years ago, Convertis was putting out maybe a dozen devices a month. In 2022, as the drone threat exploded, so did production. Now it's thousands a month with a QA process that involves dragging prototypes out to the front and seeing if they actually stop enemy drones. No lab coats, no safety nets. This is R&D at machine gun pace with real soldiers giving the only feedback that matters. It works, send more. Partnerships with other Ukrainian manufacturers and a push for new plants are part of Convertis's goal to make Ukraine as self-reliant as possible. The company's ambition is to build a homegrown defense industry that can react, adapt, and innovate faster than any foreign supplier could hope to. Now, it's easy to get lost in the specs, but the why is brutally simple. Every drone downed, every mission jammed, is a life saved and a position held. The Russians are innovating, sure, but Ukraine's answer is smarter tech that flips the script. With Berserk entering serial production, the front line is a chessboard, and Ukraine's moving the pieces faster than Russians can keep up. Kvirtis, like so many new Ukrainian defense companies, although Kvirtis is actually quite old, didn't wait for help from abroad. They started with a problem, prototyped, fielded, fixed, and delivered. And if Russia wants to keep sending drones, Ukraine now has a ground robot waiting for them. Not a bad bit of symmetry. That's it for today, friends. If you made it this far in the video, you're practically a member of the squadron. Hit subscribe so you don't miss future breakdowns. And as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Crimea is Ukraine.